Kind of, when Reggie went down, did you kind of feel like you, you were someone that was going to be kind of more of a target that they were going to go to you more? And how do you feel like you've responded so far? I mean, yeah, when Reggie went down, obviously he was a big part of our team, still is. Um, everybody had to step up, so, I mean, it's just natural. Um, when you have a good player go down, then the whole team needs to step up their game. And so I think I've responded pretty well um, as far as circumstances are concerned. Did you guys ever discuss just, you know, your – uh, extended role, your added role. I know when, when he went down, he, he spoke to a couple of guys saying, hey, you need to step up. Was that uh, ever a conversation that you two had? Yeah, I mean, it, it was. I mean, uh, good player to good player. You know, he's, he, came, he came to me and said, like, hey, I need to step up, all right? You're, you're going to be a leader on this team. You're going you're gonna to be a starting tight end. you gotta, you got to be able to lead, okay? You need to step it up. How did you think you all handled the week coming off the loss in Memphis? I think we handled it extremely well. Um, of course, it sucks to lose, but we got ahead right. We knew ECU was a good game or a good team. Uh, they could score a lot, so our our focus was, all right, we got to be nine and one. Okay, we got a lot to play for still, and so we just came out, we worked, worked all week, and we won today. So. How do you balance the the gratification of your of getting into the end zone versus wrapping up that onside kick that effectively sealed the game? One more time. Uh, just compare the gratification you get from scoring versus getting a huge play on special teams like that, wrapping up the onside kick. Oh, man, it's huge. I was, I was shaking out there on that onside kick. Was, okay. <laughs> this is the biggest play I'm going to make. You know, Special teams is a big deal, and I was, I'm, I'm glad I was able to make the play. What about the, in the fourth and 20? Fourth, I mean, yeah, that was, a big, that was a good play, too. Yeah. I got lucky, you know. Now, how does it feel to have coaches that trust in your offense that much to be able to go for it on a play like that? That's not a traditional fourth down call that you and most teams will make. So how does that feel about the offense? I mean, it feels great. I mean, we got a great quarterback. we got great skilled players. we got great tight ends. So, I mean, the fact that he was willing to go for a, a fourth and long like that, I mean, I feel a little big for my boots, you know. Like, he, he trusted me. Keith, uh, same question, but uh, let's talk about the relationship with Shane Bouchel. I mean, what what's that been like for you? Oh, it's been great. I mean, obviously coming in, he was a big name, and I was, I was a little starstruck meeting him. Um, but I mean, he's put his roots down. He's grown the relationship between everybody. I mean, he's a really big part of our team, mm -hmm. and it's been a pleasure to get to know him. What, what kind of brought you here, from Rice? What brought me here? Yeah. Um, my coach, Coach uh, Bailiff and Sonny Dykes are really good friends, and so. Coach Bailey recommended that I come here, and so I came, walked on, you know, sat out a year, and I really liked what they were doing, so I decided to stay and then put me on scholarship, and I'm still here. At some point earlier this year, Shane was sitting where you're sitting, and he talked about the time that he spent over the summer throwing with receivers, and he mentioned James and Reggie, but were you part of that group as well all summer, and, and what were those workouts like, those informal uh, summer workouts without the coaches around. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, it's like standard seven on seven, you know, pitch and catch, pitch and catch, you know, working on that receiver, quarterback trust, you know, so when we get to the game, you know, it's just automatic. You, you trust we're going to be where we need to be. We're going to make the play if need be. This team has multiple weapons on offense, and for whatever reason, tight end seems to be like, oh, yeah, we forgot about him. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of work in your advantage? Uh, particularly with, with, the, with the team so dynamic, potent with its offense? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, nobody expects the tight end to go out and run a deep ball, you know. But, I mean, shoot, I had three today. So, I mean, I make plays when I make plays. So. What was it like just having that uh, that, that pitch? I, I saw you saw that you got a, an opportunity to run the ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I did a little bit of it at Rice. And, you know, I got a little deceptive speed. I got them long strides. So, I mean, it was cool. I thought I was going to score, but yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> When's the last time you scored three touchdowns in a game at any level? I don't think I've ever done that, ever. I think the most I ever got was two, so it's my first time. Yeah. You celebrate this one differently by getting three? <sighs> no, probably going to eat a good dinner, uh, probably watch a little more football, then I'm going to go to sleep. Now, we've heard about the relationship that he, Shane has with his receivers, but how great is it to have a quarterback that can make the type of throws that he makes, especially going back to last week's catch against uh, Memphis, not too many quarterbacks in the NFL can make that type of throw. So how's it, how is it playing with them? I mean, it ups our level entirely as an offense. I mean, uh, I mean, it just takes us up a step further. I mean, you got a quarterback. He's a real special guy. Makes special throws. You're going to have a special team. Okay, and that's why we're 9-1.
what was it like doing this individually in front of Eric Dickinson, you know, in front of Harvey Armstrong, in front of Cortland Sutton, guys who have, you know, been to where you're trying to get to? Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty special. I mean, to be able to ball out in, in front of the greats like those, um, it's, I mean, I, I, don't know, I don't have a word for it, but, I mean, that's just any other week. So, I mean, if, if they weren't there, I'd hope I'd still perform the same if they, and they just so happened to be here this week. So, I'm glad I was able to perform for my team.